Hello everyone, this is Apurva. I'm a final year B.Tech Biotechnology student from CBIT Hyderabad. My major project title is Prototype for Rapid Extraction and Storage of Nucleic Acids from Blood. Human blood is a specialized body fluid containing four main components, RBC, WBC, platelets, and plasma. One of the main components are nucleic acids, which are emerging as diagnostic biomarkers for various diseases. Hence, their rapid isolation in a cost-effective manner is a crucial step. Microfluidics, due to its ability to process small sample volumes in less time and in less cost, has many applications in diagnostics. These devices are made up of silicon, glass, paper, and other polymeric materials. These devices are anticipated to overcome the disadvantages faced by the conventional methods and be affordable. The problem statement is conventional methods of nucleic acid extraction has many disadvantages like low sensitivity, high volume of reagents, low specificity, labor intensive nature, high cost, need for high, highly skilled technicians, time consuming nature, release of toxic compounds. The objectives are to optimize the conventional methods of nucleic acid extraction in a laboratory setup by varying the different parameters involved and to fabricate a prototype for a probable use in extraction of nucleic acids from blood samples with volumes as low as 25 microliters. From literature review, we have summarized that DNA extraction from phenol chloroform isomal alcohol is the most conventional method and for RNA extraction, Prizol method is the most widely used one. Phenol chloroform isomal alcohol method is considered the gold standard method for DNA extraction. The protocol is we take human whole blood and add erythrolysis buffer to it and mix it well and centrifuge it, then decant the supernatant. And we repeat this step till we get a white pellet. Then we add the WBC lysis buffer and the protein denaturation buffer to it and incubate it for four minutes. Then we add the phenol chloroform isomal alcohol mixture to promote the partitioning of lipids and cellular debris into the organic phase, leaving the isolated DNA in the aqueous phase. Then we add chloroform to it and mix it well. Then we transfer the aqueous layer into another Eppendorf tube and add chilled 100% ethanol to precipitate the DNA in the aqueous tube. Then we decant the alcohol and wash it again with 70% ethanol. This step is repeated twice and then we dry the pellet and dissolve it in 50 microliters of TE buffer. These are the gel electrophoresis results for the genomic DNA sample isolated. Initially, we can see that the yield is low and also the purity is less. But later stages, we see that the yield has increased and also the purity has increased. The quantification is done using nanodrop. For isolation of RNA from blood, we are using trisol reagent. Here, we use the erythrolysis st step and we centrifuge it at 1500 RPM for 10 minutes at 4 degrees centigrade. We repeat the step till we get a white pellet. Then we add trisol reagent. Trisol works by maintaining the RNA integrity during tissue homogenization, while at the same time disrupting and breaking down the cells and cell components. RNA remains in the aqueous phase only. We add chloroform to it and again incubate it at room temperature for five minutes. Then we centrifuge it and remove the layer carefully. We remove the aqueous layer carefully, taking care that we do not mix any white interface with it so that avoid protein contamination. Then we precipitate the RNA using chilled isopropanol and then we again resuspend it in 75% ethanol. Then we dry the pellet and dissolve it in DEPC water. These are the gel electrophoresis results for RNA. Initially, we see that the bands were not clearly seen and the ladder was not re clearly resolved and the purity was also less and also the yield. Later on, we see that the yield has increased and the purity has increased uh, along with clear bands being seen. Coming to our objective two is to fabricate a prototype proposed for rapid extraction of nucleic acid from blood. For this, we use PDMS, which, which is polydimethyl siloxane. It is widely used in microfluidic chips fabrication due to its advantages nature like biocompatibility, chemical inertness, optical transparency, flexibility, and low cost. This is the chemical structure of PDMS given. For fabricating the prototype, we take PDMS and curing agent in appropriate proportions and mix it well and remove the bubbles formed by degassing it. Then we pour the mixture into a mold and incubate it at appropriate temperatures. After we remove the mold, the prototype is formed. Here, I conclude that the yield of nucleic acid extracted from the 
conventional methods has increased and also the PDMS based prototype was fabricated. It needs to be further developed and standardized for rapid nucleic acid extraction. These are the references used. I would like to thank and acknowledge Dr. P. Ravindra Reddy, Principal CBIT, Dr. Rajri Adavalli, HOD Department of Biotechnology, and Dr. G. Vijay Lakshmi, Assistant Professor, CBIT, for their constant guidance and support throughout my study. I would also like to thank Dr. Amit Astana, Principal Investigator, CCMB, and Dr. Ira Bhatnagar, Senior Scientist, CCMB, for giving me the opportunity to carry out my work in their lab and guiding me throughout the project. I also would like to thank all my fellow lab mates and classmates for their constant encouragement and suggestions. Thank you.